Hey everyone, uh, since uh, most of you guys are not able to go back to the gym now, I want to, I'll show, help you guys out and show you some leg exercises uh, that you can do at home. So it's, it's more difficult uh, when you don't have the equipment uh, to train legs and one of the biggest uh, things is it's harder to, or more difficult to overload um, your legs if you have strength or if you're uh, you're in pretty good condition. So uh, basically what I'm gonna show you guys is the, the split squat and variations of the split squat. It's not for a beginner, so if you're deconditioned or you're, uh, you have a lot of weight, uh, you won't be able to do a split squat because now you're doing a squat, but you're doing it with one leg, right? So that for, for those people, I would do uh, like a two-legged squat where you're, you're uh, putting the load over two legs. But uh, for you guys that, you know, go to the gym all the time and are used to having like squat racks and uh, machines like presses and stuff, I'm gonna show you how you can still get a good workout at home. And even if you don't have any weight, okay? So a lot of you guys are probably thinking that, oh, I don't have any weight, I don't have any weight. So I can't overload the split squat, right? Cause I'm too strong for that. But I'm gonna show you uh, a, a few variations and then how you can uh, load it as well, okay? So basically a split squat, the difference uh, between a split squat and a lunge is that a lunge, there's movement. A split squat, you're planted, right? So a split squat, uh, split squat would be like this, right? Right, and then a lunge would be movement, right? And that'd be a reverse lunge. Okay, so we're gonna do the one, uh, the split squat with the foot planted, okay? And there's many different variations we can do. I'll go over some of them right now, okay? So you could do the flat split squat, the normal split squat, if you don't have any benches or risers, that's fine. All you're gonna do, have the foot turn slightly outwards, Back. So you're actually going like this. You're not going straight up and down, you're going forward. Pushing back. Right? I'll show you guys a little front view of that. Hip width apart, right? And not only does it work the front leg, it works all the major muscles and stabilizers of the front leg. It also serves as a good stretch uh, for the hip flexors of the trailing leg, right? So you'll really feel the back leg. So it's a good exercise for people that sit all the time. Okay? So there's many variations. We could do a front foot, elevated split squat, right? You could do a back foot elevated split squat. You know, there's the Bulgarian split squat. Right, you can really feel that pulling in that hip flexor, right? So all those, those different variations are gonna affect or hit the mis uh, different muscle fibers of the lower leg. You know, so if you're doing uh, a workout program and you're doing it three times a week, like you're at home, so I would do maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do three or four sets of each and do a different variation. Maybe one day do it flat, one day do a, you know, a front foot elevated, rear foot elevated. And even with the riser there, I can, uh, you can put a couple uh, risers and uh, vary the elevation. Okay, so I just shown you, you know, three different uh, variations of that, but now I'm gonna show you even more. So a lot of you guys will be like, oh Blaine, you know, I'm too strong for that. I can do like, whatever, 40 of them. You know, I need to be able to overload this exercise and I don't got any weights, okay? So I'm gonna show you a solution for that as well. And we'll do that uh, basically, and you could do a lot of different uh, variations of this as well. So now you could do, you could add in some tempo work. We're doing one, two, three, four, five, and up. One, two, three, four, five, and up. So you could do, 
slow tension, uh, a slow eccentric like that. You could also add pauses in the bottom, all right? So you can go down, and you could do a three second pause. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Okay? So now you can add in pauses. You could do, you know, a three second, four second pause in the bottom. Okay, also, you could do a one and one quarter squat, and you could do that, or split squat, and you could do that with all the variations. Right, so now you can go split squat, down, quarter, down, up. That's one. Down, quarter, down, up. That's two. Okay, so now I've showed you one and a quarter. And I've showed you uh, with the different pauses, eccentrics, and then you could even switch those up. You could even combine them. So you could do like, you know, I'll do a down, three second pause, quarter, three second pause, one, two, three, and up. So really, the combinations are endless, right? You don't, and then you could, like I said, you could do them with the different, the Bulgarian, you could do them front foot elevated, rear foot elevated, flat. You know, there's probably, I don't even know how many combinations there are, but there's like tons, right? So you should, know, you should be able to overload uh, your legs uh, at home without any, uh, you know, dumbbells or weights or anything like that and get a, a killer uh, leg workout in, right? So the whole idea until, you know, you get guys get back into the gym is to be able to maintain your strength and conditioning. And there's no doubt in my mind that um, if you, you know, you follow these rules, uh, you'll definitely maintain and possibly improve uh, your strength and conditioning. But just make sure that, you know, if you are conditioned, that you're taking those sets to failure, right? Because if you can do like, say you stop a set and you could do like five more, well, that's not really doing anything, right? And uh, so yeah, so split squat is one of my favorite exercises. Of course, in a gym, you could do it with a barbell, you could do them with dumbbells, uh, you could even do them with a cable, right? So anyways, that's it. Um, you know, until everything gets back rocking again, uh, just follow these, uh, do these split squats. I would do them two to three times a week, three sets for sure. Take them to failure, and you guys are deaf. You guys won't uh, won't slide backwards uh, in your leg workouts at all. Anyways, that's it. Thank you.